Hallo everyone en welkom back to Planet Coaster. Um, it's been a while since I uh, made the Planet Coaster video. Uh, but I felt, uh, well, I felt like it and uh, there's this new opportunity for me to get excited about the game again. So let me tell you about that. Right, so yeah, uh, you see me here, well, um, fixing a bit of a map. Uh, you might ask yourself, yeah, why is the map like this? Why do you need to have to uh, do it like this? Uh, hey, well, what's wrong with you? Well, uh, let me tell you. Um, there's a new uh, competition thing going on uh, within the Nexus Discord. That's basically the Discord where I'm always active in, where all my friends are and stuff. Um, I'll link it down below if it's, a, it's an open Discord. So if you uh, have an interest in that, um, I am. Um, I uh, yeah, joined in and uh, well, it's uh, in this competition. You randomly get uh, get got paired with something, someone else in the server. So that was really exciting and also uh, kind of nerve wracking. Um, and then you have to build uh, this coaster and a flat ride and a plaza area and you got to, you, you had to select one of the themes uh, that were available uh, to you uh, yeah okay so anyway I, I am paired with Dave and Dave is uh, really freaking talented um, I'm really happy I'm paired with this guy <laughs> uh, he's like well amazing and um, I'll, I'll show something uh, some uh, some things he made here he, ma he made the Millennium Falcon that you might have seen on Reddit or somewhere, but like out of this world things, right? Um, and apparently he's also a really good coaster builder because uh, he built the coaster in this project and it's amazing. It's, like the pace of it's good and everything, it just it just works. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm, uh, this is my footage. Uh, all of these videos are my footage. And then, so um, then I change with Dave the, the, the park file, I changed it, uh, I, how do you say that, we, 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 uh, we lend each other the park file so we can continue building on it, we uploaded it, uh, uploaded to the workshop, add each other as contrib contributors, and then, um, we can continue building on where, where the other one, uh, stopped, so I built during the day and then Dave continues during the evenings and that's how we do it, so you might see some new stuff all of a sudden appearing. That's Dave's stuff. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, at this point I'm just making uh, the layout of the general area. So where the coaster station is going to be, where the queue is, where the exit path is going to be and the train around it. And it all can be changed later. It's just a general idea I made for myself and Dave. Um, and I find that that's a good way of working. So. They've, they've had this idea of doing like a helix type uh, coaster, so uh, we choose the vector, which is the real life equivalent, well, the Planko equivalent of the real life uh, Mac, Mac coasters, um, which are really versatile in everything they can do. So we chose that, and it's, it's really going well since. So um, the theme, what the theme did we choose? Oh, well. Since everyone in the competition can see this too, I, I, like on the one hand I feel like telling people, and on the one on the hand I, do, I don't feel, uh, feel like telling people. But I mean, we're not really worried about people copying our stuff um, because that's kind of obvious, right? So uh, it's gonna be like a laboratory type deal with some experiments, which will uh, translate into the coaster somehow. It's gonna be like this. Uh, late 19th late 19th century theme like tesla stuff not tesla stuff exactly because i've already did that with the dark ride i made check that video out i'll link it here <laughs> yeah okay and uh, uh, so it's gonna be in an alpine area because well we had to we had a choice of four maps and this one uh, seemed very cool i uh, don't really have a lot of experience building an alpine map so that was interesting and I don't regret it whatsoever because with the snow we can make everything look so good and well snowy. Of course we don't have real weather in uh, in Planko, but it really it works well. Only disadvantage is is that we only have two trees with snow on them, so that's kind of, yeah it's kind of different than Planet Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo has a bit more than that, so that's uh that's getting uh, and then it, it needs to get you yeah uh how do I say that? I need to get used to that again. Yeah, anyway, okay. I'm building a train tunnel here. This is also the entrance tunnel to the park. Because the entrance is actually to the backside of this um, area. And why did I uh, choose to 
Ike turn the park around and have the entrance uh, at the back. Well, because the sun is headed uh, at noon, the sun is facing this direction, so everything is lit well from this perspective, and uh, that's a really important for well everything, like scenic views and stuff. So that's why I did it this way. I guess that's just the thing that Arctic Map uh, does. Um, yeah, uh, nice tunnel, right? Uh, I use that cobblestone texture a lot. It really works well um, to like well, the foundations of this area, and then I built some concrete um, pillar things for the tunnel itself. Of course, this is all work in proce process. This is really from zero to hero. Now, from from the start to beginning, how I built uh, this stuff, and then. Sometimes you have a sudden snap of progress that Dave did. So it's going to be really interesting and you can really see well um, our different styles and how we manage to play uh, play around with each other. Um, and I, I, of course I will show off what Dave did every time um, he made something. Uh, here I didn't do that because it's mainly the coaster and I feel like the coaster should be, the on-ride should be saved for like the next uh, the latest episode or something oh did you see the dirt dirt decals on the wall there those are made by forana and those are amazing i absolutely love them i'm probably gonna use them for every project ever now so i'm gonna link those in uh, the description also the nexus discord join that discord it's really fun um so yeah it's fun uh, building this little uh train tunnel next to the path and at first you can see the brick uh, corners of this uh, building. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but I ended up with like choosing more of a naturey sense type of uh, ordeal with like rocks. That's also why those pillars are there next to the train tunnel to prevent the rocks from falling on the track. Yeah, that was clever, right? Now I copied it out of Google again, and um, you can see how the snow really interferes well with the rocks. A lot of rock work this episode, because th that's just the way it is, you know, like. That's how you like make it look uh, very well, uh, and then I changed the path texture to fit more better with the whole biome and the and the path and, and the rocks and stuff. So I used three different types of rocks uh, so far: the uh, the alpine rocks and the ice rocks and the snow rocks, and then uh, the snow itself. Um, and then here again, the cobblestone thing from the spooky pack, I think. Yeah, um, to really make it look. A bit more interesting. Uh, that was a long face there. Oh boy. Uh, anyway, um, I'm not going to use this for the entire build, of course. But um, on the lower levels, this is a bit more sturdier than uh, a buoy or brick. So yeah, that's why I did that. It's also a bit more of the heavier pieces for your PC to use a lot. So beware of that when you want to use that. Then I did some uh, snow on the little, I don't know, the railings. I guess no, not really. The, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, the snow is great. Uh, look like uh, I just placed rocks and some stone, and then, uh, it looks already nice, right? Uh, I might get some electricity poles, uh, stuff like that, weird stuff uh, like to make it a bit more wood or something. I am really into that whole darky um, early uh, early twentieth century vibe um, when it comes to build like this. So I'm really happy we're going for something like this. And then the, the, the coaster station itself is going to be the laboratory with a tower and some other stuff that will show itself in the upcoming episodes. Uh, so the deadline for this competition is, uh, I think, end of May somewhere. So uh, we, yeah, we've got like three and a half weeks for this, which is kind of uh, kind of time. This is kind of time sensitive, right? This whole build. So I need to take that into account um, to not be too ambitious. But it's going well so far, and the, the, with the whole uh, pandemic thing, it's going, it's going. We have time. We have a bit of time. We uh, managed to work uh, with each other very well so far. I'm really excited. And um, yeah, this will then be featured on Wix's live stream um, at the end of May, where we can see uh, the end result. Right. I'm also gonna make a showcase video for the YouTube channel with some cool sounds and stuff. Uh, the ideal viewing experience and um, I'm really excited about that oh I can't wait to do the lighting the lighting is gonna be cool 
Uh, with little spotlights and yeah, I just love oh to do it. Okay, uh, I just love the Arctic biome. Uh, I don't know why I haven't used it before. Probably because a roller coaster or a theme park in well in Ar Antarctica isn't really uh, that lucrative. Not many people around. Also, not very good for the coasters. Everything is closed all of the time. But just imagine that this track is heated or something. Um, we want to go a realistic route. And I guess that's the only thing so far that's kinda on the on the on the fence with that. It, it is a steel coaster, so I guess it's uh, more uh, lenient with temperatures. Well, we just have to figure figure some good reason out. If anyone knows a reason why uh, why these coasters could operate in these low temper temper temperatures, then let me know. Uh, and probably uh, best case scenario, it's zero degrees, right? So Celsius. Um, or Kelvin, if you want to go fancy. I don't know about Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit's stupid. Fix, fix that issue, America. Um, all right. So yeah, I use some wooden fence there to differ a bit from the the cobblestone. Um, and then I went with the cobblestone here again. Um, it just makes it look a lot really sturdy and resilient against the elements. And here I built the start of the bridge. I'm not building the bridge in this episode. I think I already built it, <laughs> but uh, that might be a later episode. So yeah, you can expect one of these episodes, probably once a week at least, probably more. Um, I'm not sure about the length of each episode, but yeah, it's just how it is. It's a bit time sensitive, but it kind of forces me to be active again, right? And that's what I want at least, to have some productivity on the channel again. Um, also, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla was announced yesterday. And I'm gonna be uh, doing a Assassin's Creed series. Um, well, I'm saying that now. Or well, I'm probably gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna record it after this. I am just really excited about the whole Assassin's Creed thing. It's, well, I have three main games like World of Warcraft, Planet Coast to Planet 2, and, uh, and Assassin's Creed. Shit, that's four. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, so, here, I, uh, this tunnel is the second launch sanction. And there's also gonna be some lab shit in there. So, uh, that's gonna be cool. Uh, I uh, had to uh, think. I have to think how I'm gonna fix that, but maybe Dave will do it. Like, how we can transfer from a lab area into the outside. But I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Great project. This is it's really motivating. And of course, it's a competition. And I can win a Steam gift card. And they, they, me and Dave of, uh, for uh, um, Steam. Well, that's a Steam gift card. Yeah, that, yeah okay. Uh, Alright, I'm just mumbling at this point. That's pretty much it for this episode, people. Uh, just some uh, snow and some fans uh, left. Um, anyway, yeah. I hope you're excited for this. And uh, see you next episode, right? Yeah, okay. Bye! <laughs>